Whenever I've thought about the classic American knife, it's always been the Bowie and the Buck. I was reading on Instagram a really, really good channel or page or whatever it is called Knife Porn when he introduced the Nesmuk. And I thought, that's a really strange looking knife, isn't it? Um, yeah, decidedly different. Looked into it a bit. This style of knife was developed by a guy called George Washington Sears in the 1880s. He had what he called the Trinity system of bushcrafting. I said it wasn't called bushcrafting then, really. And he wrote under the name Nesmuk, um, hence the sort of name of the knife. He would have a pocket knife for small tasks, a fixed blade knife, which he designed. They're, they're, they're generally a little bit smaller than this, but I just decided to make something a bit different. Uh, for food processing, skinning, that sort of thing, an axe. And that's pretty much what he took with him. He was a great believer in being in the outdoors. It was very good for you. He was, was never a very well man, really. So I made this from an old bill hook. Advantage of bill hooks, they're already hard and steel. Disadvantage, you get a lot of drill bits. Picked up these mosaic pins off eBay. Um, I, in, a, in a way, it's the tail that, that wagged at the dog. I had these pins and I really, really wanted to use them for something. This is a bit of walnut and yeah, the shape is fairly classically um, Nesmuk. It's not a huge knife. Nine inches overall with a five inch blade, which is pretty much what Nesmuk uh, decided. Full tang, pinned and glued with a nice bit of walnut, which is stained with um, bottled linseed oil. It's not a particularly heavy knife, well, it's about the same as a, an average um, uh, fixed blade, but it is a really good chopper. For food processing, if you fancy a, a radish, there's very little effort goes into that. You can peel nicely with it. And also chop. So yeah, all in all, it's a, it's a really nicely designed knife. I haven't got any animals to skin with it. I haven't got any meat to cut up because um, it's freezing outside and I didn't want to go on the shop and buy some. So this is the idea behind this Nesmuk. Quite a simple little knife. Didn't take very long to make. It was quite a lot of fun. Like I said, I did get through quite a few drill bits though. Engraved it with the T66 logo. And I it rather badly on that side. I'm trying to force a patina over it so it doesn't um, show very much. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice knife to use. You can sort of slice it. You do, you know, it's it's a good, decent, general purpose knife. Um, so you can't quite see the two nicks on my fingers where I've actually cut myself on it. So yes, it will cut flesh very, very well. <laughs>